everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tara, so good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Leos. If you guys are resonating with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want personal readings, hit me up at jocelynlovely84 at gmail. Alright y'all, this reading I'm using the Anime Tarot. Uh, I'm getting a Queen of Swords energy. If you take a look at her, gorgeous energy. At the top of her throne, she knows what's up. She's not gullible at all. She's not. A, she's no one's fool. This woman is gender does not matter, by the way. This person is has done it all, seen it all, right? Like its eye, it's so perceptive. It only needs one. It doesn't even have a full story. It only needs half an eye, and it's still you couldn't fool this uh, person even if you tried. I mean, this person's foolproof, right? Uh, this is you. It almost seems like. You know, you always, your inner child, everyone's inner child, right? You always grow up thinking you're going to be okay, life's going to be good, you're going to work really hard and succeed, right? Like, that's how we all think of life sometimes. Um, and it almost seems to me like this, this queen of swords, although at the top of her throne, the only reason she was able to get there was because of all the struggle this person has been through. You got the two of swords on top. It almost seems to me like somebody came in, whether that's life or somebody came and they try to clip your wings. Because the butterfly wings, right? Um, they're not just there for decoration. They're actually there to signify or symbolize transformation that you that you went through in your life. And um, unfortunately, it looks like life took the scissors and clipped your, your wings and, and you weren't able to fly anymore. It, uh, the, the very nurturing optimistic side of you might have struggled there right because um your ability to fly and to, to reach new levels was taken from you it's just how life is sometimes you know uh almost seems like you were maimed too like half your eyes gone you can't even see like you you've been you've been in through battle the trenches and then you got maimed like really maimed uh, the next cards are the Two of Cups with the Three of Swords, though. It's funny because this, this you have the Swords here, like the Three of Swords. Still, um, if anything were to happen, you, you're going to defend yourself, right? It's like you got, you got Swords for days. You got, you got protection for days from your own self. It also seems to me like um, you've just been struggling. And you make sure nobody sees that. No matter how many times you struggle throughout the years, you make sure that when you show up in front of company, you let them know. There's no issue here. You're a boss. Nobody ever knows, right? And they shouldn't. I feel like you see a lot of people as they could be potential enemies only because, again, you've seen the harder parts of life, right? The harder... You've just seen things that were very difficult for you to overcome at a time, right? Um, not everybody gets to experience that, so you're the real deal, right? You show up and 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 you you're very cautious, right? Of your own space, of your surroundings, and you know, uh, the, just yourself, really. There's nobody else there in the moment. The next um, card is the Two of Cups. Again, it's like a a number of two. It's like uh, for this one, I actually had to clarify, right? And because I was like, well, what, what, what? You got a two and a two and then a, a six and a six. So it's like, clarify what the two is for. We got the six of swords next, right? On top of the page of wands. So it almost seems to me like this is uh, the optimistic version of you, right? Wanting to retake a chance again on life wanting to start over and you see how the the butterflies are next to him encouraging you to even though you cannot fly or there are certain setbacks that have taken over your life where you'll never you'll no longer be the same you could still um be uh, optimistic and looking forward to your adventures right and you still have the butterflies as transformation to symbolize that even though you can go through difficult periods, you can still come out victorious. Although you don't have your wings anymore, right? You could still you could still harness that butterfly energy. 
that fun energy. Remember, butterflies like to play too. They like to mate and they like to play since they only have like six weeks. They like to do everything, enjoy their life while they can because they did spend a lot of their time in the cocoon stage, right? It was arduous, it was painful, it was growing, it was change, consistent change. So, sorry, not consistent, constant change. So, yeah. The next card is a six of wands though. So you got a six of swords on top and then a six of wands. Right? It's like you want to set to this destination. You don't know where this destination is, but you want to go. You, you, you want to believe that there's still something there for you. Um, no matter what transpired in your life, right? Because it's not easy. It's not easy to talk about either for some of you guys. It's really painful. The amount of, of things that you carry with you from the past. And it's like you're trying to, you're trying to use your inner child, right, to, to, to connect with it so that you can actually move forward. You're really trying, right? You want to be positive. You want to believe. Since you still have time, you know, you still have time to live the rest of your life, no matter how much you have time you have left. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. You're struggling, man. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's, it's again. It's, it, it talks to me with the pink. Talks to me of like forgiving life, love. You're lacking a little bit of love and forgiveness, of, of of or just if not forgiveness, right? Accepting life on life's terms, right? Accepting what happened, and and learning to deal or cope with life after the tragedies, after the events that transpired, right? And it's talking about grieving that, taking the moment and the space to grieve that, and still learning to be gentle with yourself and love yourself even after everything that transpired. Because I feel like some of you guys have uh, physical, uh, like incapacities now, like something terrible, uh, physical, either physical or mental or emotional, like you're not the same. Right? Like some of you guys are can't walk or, you know, something like that. Or you've just been mental health wise been so traumatized that like you have PTSD, um, severe cases like that. Right? Uh, sleep issues, insomnia, stuff like that. So uh, that's what I'm getting. So for my beautiful Leos, the ones that were struggling, you guys are doing the best that you can and you're being acknowledged. Some people, I think, they just never recover from situations that happen like that, severe situations like that. You guys manage are managing to recover very well, better than than you probably expected. It took you years, but you're but you're you're doing better than you thought you would. So, all right, my Leos, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. Bye.